We are a blast, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's awesome to be in the house of God. David said, no matter what, I want to be in the congregation of the saints. Did I tell you how to sit down? Just like that. Just, see, that's how easy we miss it. That's how easy we miss it. We don't listen to God. We just do what we want to do. Our flesh is weak. Amen. Y'all can sit down. Y'all know I'm kidding. For any visitors in here, we cut up a lot. So y'all y'all make yourself at home. Hallelujah. You know, it's good to be at church and to be relaxed and have a good time and know that you're among friends and family and hallelujah. And, and hallelujah, I'm just, I'm just glad to be here. Glad to see Linda. Man, I mean, that was a surprise. Amen. Praise the Lord. She's over there straightening the continent of Africa. No, you're not in Africa. You were in Africa, wasn't you? Yeah. Last time I said... I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna walk into that. Praise the Lord. It's good to see your daughter here. Praise the Lord. You're blessed. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, everybody well? Everybody blessed no matter what's going on? Hey, Raymond. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Scott. Scott. Amen. Scott's in the house. Praise the Lord. Well, hallelujah. We're going to move right along. So I... I like while we're ministering to the Lord and ministering to the Lord, let's just go ahead and prepare our tithes and our offerings and, and let's give Pastor Timothy time to minister. And I want to encourage you as Pastor Timothy is getting ready to come up and minister to us tonight that have your hearts open and ready to receive the Word of God. Amen. I always come expecting. I always come ready to, to hear something afresh and anew. You know, Pastor Timothy spends a lot of time preparing and ministering to the Lord and and, you know, I don't know about you guys, a lot of times, uh, if, if you're, you're just coming to a service just to, to hear the things of God, you don't realize what goes, what, what a man of God does to, to bring forth the Word of God. You know, the, uh, the power and the anointing that comes on a man when he's standing in the office that Christ is set up is very taxing. It's very taxing. And because uh, so many times people don't realize how blessed... We are to have pastors that look after the flock and they take care of us and pray for us. And, and they will give an account before the Lord for our congregation. So many times people think it's just it's easy. But you think about it. You know, how many of you got your own stuff going on? You got your own junk going on. You got your own drama with your family, with your friends, with your business, with your work, with the creditors. <laughs> I'm, I'm digging through the creditors right now. You know, sometimes when you got to make things right, you know, you got to face things you don't like to face. So many times in, in this world, we want to, we don't want to face our consequences. We don't want to face the things that we have sowed in our life. You know, God will help you through your mess, but sometimes you got to get out your axe and cut through the weeds. Amen. You got to clear a path. You know, He set up a garden out of Eden. He, you know, he, he brought this world into order by the words and, and by the angels and, and, and putting things in motion by faith. And we have to be the same way in our finances and our job, on our work and everything that we do. And sometimes, I don't know about you guys, I've sowed some bad seed. I've done some bad things. I've, you know, I've done people wrong. I've, you know, I've had to call back and repent. I've had to say, hey, forgive me, I messed yes. up. People will work with you if you'll be truthful. Right. If you'll just be truthful. Yes. Predators will work with you if you'll be truthful. You know, Timothy talks about it all the time. You know, that's one of his pet peeves, you know. And, uh, you know, I've done some crazy things in, in business and finances, and, and I, I try to always be honorable in everything I do, even in my mistakes. I'm honorable in my mistakes. <laughs> I messed up. You know, help me, Lord. You know, and he'll help you. But you got to do something. You got to pay your debt. Amen. But God will help you. God will help you. He'll clear way for you. If you decide to do the right thing, if you decide to go forward and do the right thing in your character and everything that you do, God will bless you. God will bless you. That's, that's what we have as our character. You know, in Him there's no, there's no shadow of turning. You know, there's no darkness. There's no blemish. You know, and, and in Christ, that's who we are. And I want to be like that. I, wanna, I want people to have a testimony from the, not only the inside, but from the outside. When people think about Mary Cook, what do they think? When they think about Pastor Timothy, what do they think? Or Scott? Or anybody? Linda? Anybody in the congregation? You know, what do they think? What do they see when you're not around nobody else? I had to watch myself. I talk about this all the time in my FJ. You know, I, just, I run people off the road. You know, people, you know, they want me to give me all. They give me all kind of sign language. You know the sign language I'm talking about, right? It ain't, it ain't very edifying sign language, you know? And I have to watch myself. To try the speed limit, be nice, put my signal on, and all those kind of things. Praise the Lord. God, 
people are watching you. People are watching you. They see you. I have to watch my expression sometimes. Because sometimes just my natural expressions is not a, it, it doesn't look happy. But I'm always happy inside. Sometimes I have to crack the, 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 the tar off my face to, to break a smile. But, you know, so many times people think we're mad or we're angry. Or, you know, we need some joy in our life. Amen? Need some joy. Start giving to the Lord. Start honoring Him with your finances. Start honoring Him with your prayers, with your life. Man, because we're giving it up really quick and it's going to be over. Make a legacy for Him. Carry on to the next generation and preach the gospel. I'm telling you what, don't grow weary in well-doing because I'm telling you what, God is faithful. God sees everything you're going through. you got to go through the fire sometimes. But it's all good. Amen? Don't come out gold the other side. Amen? He's going to use us to pay the streets with, I guess. Amen. Hallelujah.